So now I want hold on. I want you guys to to remember that when somebody does something wrong to us, Chimary, what what do you think that we're supposed to be doing? Oh, speak up. Do you want to think about it? Be generous with what? Okay. It's supposed to be generous with our um, giving. Go ahead, Ebiko. When somebody does something wrong to you, whose job is to forgive and whose job is it to punish, to pay them back? Us. And God should punish us too. God will be responsible for that. He will give them over to the to the judgment to the judgment or to wherever they want to be in their thoughts and their heart. Now we are responsible for what? Forgiving people. Forgiving them. Chitama. Yes, ma'am. What are we responsible for? How can we show um generous? Yeah, how possible is it for us to show kindness? It's very possible actually, but when somebody does something wrong to you, what are you going to use to remember to be kind, to still be kind to them? I know you. You could give them a present, or you could you could give them a present, or try be generous or something. If you have a lot of stuff, you can give them a whole bunch. Okay, so you're saying if somebody goes and steals your all your <clears throat> they steal your backpack now the first thing you're gonna do is what the first thing that i i'm gonna do is well if it's outside i'm gonna tell daddy and we can just go back home and get me another one okay now chair Marie, what if somebody lies on you then what can you sit up I'm going to move your feet. You're kind. Now. Huh? You're going to be kind to them? Mm-hmm. What's going to help you to be kind to somebody that's lying to you, lying on you? To give them something. Why? Scoops. Exactly, that's Romans. Vengeance is his. So paying back is Yahweh's. We are not Yahweh. We are his creation. We also sin against God. But when we sin against God, we don't want him paying us back. Remember, what we are doing to other people should God do to us when we don't remember them when we lie on God when we lie on him when we take from him but we don't give we don't give him our time we don't give him our attention we don't give him our honor or our praise we don't give any of that to God Uh, what do we give we give our attention to our my phone I give that attention if I'm talking to people, to other people. I'll talk to them for hours. Yes. But if it's God, mm, thank you for this food. Amen. Bye. Bye, God. Stop it. Chimera, what's going to help uh, you if someone r- punches you in the stomach? Like that boy did. What boy? Does that make you feel good, Chimera? Jamie, what's going to make you, uh, what's the first thing you should do? Somebody punches you in the stomach and says that they did it. Sit down. Wow. You're going to ask them to say oh, sorry? 
No. Let me tell you something. Jesus didn't always ask us to say sorry. Jesus never asked us that we should say. He just said, Father, forgive them. Just go ahead and forgive them. I want you guys to know we are like the people that stabbed Jesus on the side. We are like the people that arrested him, that mocked him, that spat on him. And what did Jesus do? Did he say, say sorry? Huh? No. Did Jesus say, say sorry? No. Uh, say sorry right now. Did he say that? No. He just said, God, he said, Father, forgive them. We should practice that. Let's say, let's say that now. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive this person. Father, forgive them for what they're doing to me, what they have done to me. Father, forgive them. Father, forgive them. And you need to help. You say, God, I, Father, I need help forgiving them. Let's pray that. That's even more what our situation is. Father, help me forgive them. Father, help me forgive them. Father, help me forgive them. Help me remember I'm not good. I'm not perfect. Okay, we're going to eat right after this. You've never starved ever. Okay, so I'm always going to feed you. But let's finish this, okay? Let's finish this lesson. And the lesson is, is that we need to remember that we do wrong. And we need to humble ourselves. We need to calm down. We need to take the anger out. A lot of times when we are angry with other people, that's because we forget that we do wrong to them. We do wrong to other people. And that helps us remember what you have done. It helps you to calm down and to forgive them very easily. Now, Ebuka, when if if you always step on my foot and you always um, use my blanket and you always um, take my jewelry and you'll be messing with the beads. Now, when I go to your room and pick up your teddy bear and start um, holding it and treating it like a, like a little baby teddy bear. And you're like, mommy, give that to me. I think that when you remember that you play with my blanket. And that you play with my jewelry, my bracelets, then you're going to do what? Is your anger going to still stay Boiling hot? Yes. Or is it going to come down a little bit? Come down a little bit? Exactly. When you are angry with someone, sometimes it does help to remember that we make the mistakes of playing with other people's things too. Do you do that? Yes. I do that. Let me tell you something. I don't, I don't see you playing with other people's stuff. I'm about to tell you a story. Okay. One day I was at work, I was in the office and I went to, um, she's not my supervisor, but she's somebody else's supervisor. She's a whole different group of people's supervisor, but my supervisor, I didn't see her in the office. So when I had walked down the aisle, uh, uh, down the hallway, I went to my supervisor's office. She wasn't there. I looked at the other supervisor. She was there and she said, what do you need? <clears throat> her, um, and then, uh, her, la her miss, um, F, right? So Miss F said, Oh, um, what do you need? I said, Oh, I need help. I'm trying to perform something on the computer and it won't go. And she said, Okay, you know what? I have that same problem. This is the you need to press this key and that key at the same time. time. Is that shift and shift? Something. And I did I don't remember now. And then she said, oh, hold on. She walked out of her office. I sat there on the chair so when she so that she could come back and see if she could um, finish showing me because she already told me. I looked at her her ta her desk. She had a box on there. I started playing with it and I folded the box and I folded it all the way into one piece and I put it in the trash. When she came back, she um, she said, oh, I have it right here. And she went down and sat in her office and she was looking for that box. I was just sitting there looking at her, look for that box. I didn't know that that was important. She needed that box so that she could put a, um, put a, uh, a metal on it and, and send it in the mail. She can't just put that, um, metal 
in the mail. She, she, that box has the name, has her name and the other person's name where it's going so that the mailman can look and say, okay, Miss F is sending this medal to the other person. But what did I do? While I was sitting there, I took her box, I folded it nice and neat, and I put it in the trash. I took, you took what? I took her box, and it had her name on it, and the other person's name where she was going to put something in that box and send it to somebody. That's how you send things to people. You put your name on it. This is from Ebuka, and then you put the other person's name on it that your giving it to that you're giving it to so the mailman can look at it and say oh this is from epica and he's sending it to this address so i'm going to take it over to that address what is an address an address is where the person lives where the person works so was i minding my business no was i touching my own stuff no was i messing with other people's stuff yes did i mess something up for her yes, yes. and i couldn't explain myself all I said was, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even go give her another box. I didn't even help her to get another um, thing, anything that she can use to mail that medal over. So that other person isn't even going to get it on time. So I did, I came over there looking for my supervisor, but this other supervisor says she can help me. While I was there, I messed with something in her office. And that's terrible. I have to learn to keep my hands to myself and don't touch people's things. Even even if she has trash on her desk, I should ask her, would you like me to um, help you throw this away? She might say, oh, yes, I'm going to throw it away as soon as I put all my trash together or on my own time when I would like to do it at the best time I see fit. Me just throwing it away, sometimes you can mess up things for people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That's what I did that day. So now she should have gotten angry or whatever. She just said, that's all right. I'll go get another box. All right. So, yes, you said you haven't seen me do something. But let me tell you something. This helps. Whenever someone does something that makes you angry, remember, you don't always keep your hands to yourself. And you don't always use only your things. Sometimes you use other people's things like their blanket. And sometimes you do step on people's food. Foot. Sometimes you do eat other people's food in the fridge. I don't eat too much. Almost ate all of my ice cream. All right. But I want you to know. You let me have to Listen. You, I am not perfect. Say it. I am not perfect. And I do know that sometimes I do things just like this. Sometimes I do things just like this person. Their mistake does not mean they're my enemy. This is a chance. Is a chance. To show them, to show them the the generous kindness, the generous kindness that I would like to see, that I would like to see. Amen.